OK, I'm going to get started. Hi, welcome everybody. As you can see, I am not Miss Lopez. And Miss Lopez is feeling a bit under the weather. So I am taking over for her. For those of you who do not know me, um, my name is Melissa Berg and I am the principal of this amazing school. So welcome and I'm going to try and do my best to get through this and present all the information to you in a wonderful um, way. So I'm going to share my screen, I hope. Or not. Give me one second. Uh oh. Okay, I think, I hope, and I'm going to turn on the chat if I can figure out that. I hope you can see my screen. Can't even find the chat. Are you able to see my screen? Were you able to see the slides? Mr. Bay, you want to nod for me? Were you able to see the slides? Okay, good. Then I'm going to go back there. Okay. So welcome to our April Town Hall. Um, we are Queens Technical High School. A few updates from me. And if you can believe it or not, this school year is coming to a close. I cannot believe how quickly this year has gone by. And again, just some reminders um, or information if you don't know it. All the COVID restrictions have been removed for high school students, and that includes trips and dances, including our prom. So we have a lot of trips going out. Um, I know there was one today, there's one tomorrow. Uh, we're having a dance coming up for our seniors. Uh, besides the prom, which I've uh, shown here, is Saturday, June 4th, that's the prom. Also, graduation will be in person. Graduation is on June 21st at 2 p.m. at Colden Auditorium on the Queens College campus. All kinds of that information will be presented to you later. Some new information that I just received. Students will receive COVID home tests before leaving for spring break. Um, also, staff will be receiving that as well. Please, it says have your child test. I know we have some personnel on here as well. Please, everyone test before returning to school. Okay, um, again, this new variant is from what I've heard, less uh, of a medical concern, but is even more contagious. So please, if everybody just um, test themselves before returning to school on April 25th. And for those of you who are not aware, our spring break starts on Friday, April 15th. As I said, the school is entering its final uh, part of the year. So the final marking period will be starting shortly. We'll get to that um, in a minute. I believe actually it starts maybe tomorrow. 
um, but we'll look at the date later. And parents, remember that students who fail classes are going to be signed up for summer school. Students will be signed up for summer school. We don't want students to fall too far behind. So please attend summer school if you are signed up for summer school. Another piece of information is the school survey. They had extended the time. And so please, students, teachers, parents, please complete this school survey. Uh, parents, you received a paper version, but you can also do it online. Um, everybody else, you're gonna do it online. That helps us out. It gives us a better understanding of what you need and what you like that we are doing. And so I appreciate everybody filling that out for me. And the next piece is our guidance updates. Do I have a guidance counselor who is going to talk about guidance updates or am I gonna do it? Any guidance counselor? Hi there. Uh, if you want to say it, it's fine. No, go ahead. So good, good, good afternoon, everybody. Um, so I'm Mr. Sanchez. I'm the guidance counselor for Little Computer Repair Engineering. Um, so the first marking period ends this Wednesday, April 6. Report cards uh, will be posted on People Path, and they will also, I believe, they're going to be mailed out. Make sure that um students um. The, the the new market period starts on Thursday, April 7th and ends June 14th. It's only like about 10 weeks, nine weeks. So make sure that everything is handed in. This is, you know, you want to make sure that you pass all your classes, that you do everything that you have to do, because if not, you're going to have to attend summer school. And also it's going to push you back um, next next year. Um, Juniors are being, um, guidance counselors are going and meeting with all the juniors just to discuss for next year the transcripts, reviewing the transcripts, making sure that everything is set. Um, hello? Oh, I thought someone was saying something. <laughs> um, individual meetings with sophomores will be done in May. And with the seniors, we have met with them prior because they're the main priority in order for them to be on point to graduation. Um, if any students who have not seen their guidance counselors, especially the seniors or in juniors, you can come to our office. We're located in room 151. That's where Ms. Ganal, Ms. Mejia, Ms. Rodriguez, Ms. Vasquez, and myself are located. We're all located in the same room. Or you can call us and make an appointment, um, which is also a good thing. So, so yeah, those are all the updates. So please make sure that um, any work that you owe the teachers and stuff, you can it in before this Wednesday. Or just a reminder that the new marking period starts April 7th. And it's only a couple of weeks. So make sure you do all the work, make sure everything is handy. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. I appreciate you stepping in there for uh, a minute to give my voice a, a little break. And again, a reminder, seniors, if you do not pass your classes, you cannot attend graduation. If you don't pass your classes, you cannot attend graduation. Even if you're gonna graduate in August, even if it's just one class, even if it's just phys ed, you cannot attend graduation. So please, please, please make sure that you are passing your classes. The worst thing in the world is seeing a graduating senior not graduate. SO News, Mr. Vega, do you want to take it or shall I read it? I guess he, he was trying to get his mic working. I don't think he got his mic working. Um, so I'm just going to uh, read his slide here. So we always have a talent show. Uh, it's so wonderful to bring back our talent show. 
and that will be on May 11th at 5.30 p.m. And ticket purchasing will be given to you uh, in the future. Uh, we encourage families to come as well as friends and students from the school. Teachers also, please, we'd love them. Rehearsals are Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday after school. Um, so starting at about 4.30, and if you if the students want to sign up for rehearsal, they have to go to room 33. We are still accepting students to try out. So if there's somebody out there who is thinking about trying out and you think it's too late, it's not. Go see Mr. Vega in room 143. We also have an activity coming up on May 27. Go to the Mets game and there is i see it says dinner i i'm guessing you oh five dollar oh it's five dollars it'll cost you five dollars but you must get a food voucher is my guess for um shea stadium or whatever it's called nowadays sorry i still call it shea stadium uh city field right city field um so there must be a few food voucher oops sorry Seniors, again, prom will be taking place on June 4th and graduation will be taking place on June 21st. Information should be going home to you through your senior child. And then we also have a spring dance that I had mentioned earlier. It is on April 13th, Wednesday. And it's only for the seniors. This one is special just for the seniors to get together and have some fun. And the cost is $3 or $5, depending on if you're an SO member. And come to room 143 for a permission slip. You will not be allowed in unless you have a permission slip, seniors. And all students must be vaccinated to do any of these dancing activities. PSAL, so what's going on in the spring? We have handball. Handball is right now in first place with five wins and zero losses. The boys varsity baseball are in fourth place with two wins and two losses. The girls varsity flag football is in fifth place with no wins quite yet, but in two losses. Uh, the girls varsity softball is one win and two losses, and they are also in fifth place. Good luck on the rest of your season, and let's go Tigers. For those of you who are interested in joining soccer, soccer starts for next year, but it starts in August. So you need to try out and sign up now. Please go see Mr. Rashawn or Mr. Yu, or you can email them. Their emails are below and uh, find out information about when tryouts are and put your name on the list for soccer for next year, next school year. Okay, sunny side. Madeline, I don't know if you can speak or somebody from your team. Is everybody having trouble? I don't know how to put you in.
click on slideshow. Let it wear a slideshow. On the PowerPoint, right? All right, let me see if I can find it. Oh, okay. How's that? <laughs> but I don't think, oh, here comes Madeline down to save the day. Although I figured out slideshow, she's gonna talk to you from my office. Welcome. <laughs> Hi everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Madeline Hatcher. I'm the community school director. Just a few updates through Sunnyside Community Services. We are continuing to have after school and daytime tutoring. Um, if you attend five tutoring sessions, you get a free sliced pizza. So please attend. Um, we also have the virtual parent association meeting, which is happening next Wednesday at 10 o'clock a.m. Um, that afternoon, we'll be also hosting an advisory board meeting, so please attend. Um, we also are giving out toiletries, so any families that are in need of assistance, do not hesitate to reach out. You can email us directly. Um, like I said, we also have after school tutoring going on. We have a bunch of clubs still going on. Um, they are listed on the next slide. So if you um, have any um, children that are interested in getting more involved, it's not too late to sign up. And then we have college and career readiness. Um, please encourage your child to sign up for summer youth employment. We still have several slots available. Um, I will post the link in the chat. Uh, we also have CTE workshops going on as well as college advisement. Um, Next slide. Click. Oh, just this. Yeah. Yeah. And these are some of the some of the clubs that we have going on after school. So if you want more information, you can definitely stop by um, 219 and we'll um, connect you with the club advisor. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Hatcher. Um, do I have somebody from Western Queens on the line? Although it seems like nobody can speak for whatever reason. Um, so we do have a mental health provider in the building or you can receive services outside of the building. Mental health providers at Western Queens has been a partner of ours for I want to say at least six years and they provide individual counseling. They provide support on a range of topics um, and we can do some groups and do do some groups with our students on different areas that students may be struggling with. If you are interested in having your child uh, get some individual counseling, you can send your child to room 213 or call the school and ask for the mental health providers at Western Queens. College office. Let's see if Miss Kay, are you on? And if you are on, can you talk? Can you hear me? I hear you. Hi, hello everyone. My computer is not the best, so. Um, okay, so some college office updates. Tomorrow on April 6th, I will be holding a parent workshop specifically for families of 11th grade students. Anyone, of course, is welcome to attend, but it will be a little bit geared towards what the juniors are preparing for. They will be lasting approximately one to one and a half hours, and I do have an English version starting at five. And I have our bilingual school counselors presenting um, my presentation in Spanish beginning at 5.30. Links were added to the QT website already, so you can find them there when the um, 5 or 5.30 presentation begin. And I will also send them out to by pupil patch email first thing tomorrow morning. So um, this is a recap. The juniors, any student in 11th grade already received the general information in their English classes. And I am beginning to meet with your children, um, juniors, one-on-one -on -one privately. And in these meetings, we are talking about 
their plans for after high school, so they're getting information about colleges and financial aid, or maybe if they want to do something else, we talk about all that. So this workshop will get better informed on those processes, and so that way we're all on the same page. And of course, any questions, I will try my best to answer them for you at the workshop, and that will be tomorrow. Um, the next thing is May is our Senior College Decision Month and College Enrollment. So throughout this month of April, any seniors should be comparing their acceptances and their financial aid awards so that they can make their best choice so they can begin enrolling at the end of this month and into to their college. Um, the enrollment process does take a little, bit, a little bit of time. So this is the season where we start doing all that. So please, parents, um, if you are a parent of a senior, please stay on top of them. I know we're getting some better weather now, um, and there might be other priorities going on. But please just make sure that our seniors are getting into the colleges that they are committing to. And I do have in the senior Google Classroom an enrollment checklist to help the students navigate through the enrollment process and a financial award letter information, um, just some slides, some informational slides to help you guys um, determine what is best financially depending on the acceptances you've received. And then just there on the side, if any senior still does need any college or financial aid help, um, they can visit my assistant in room 143 or they can visit with Sunnyside daily in room 219 to receive um, any college or financial aid assistance, even though it's the end of the year, they can still receive the help. Okay, and just the next slide. Okay, so to the left is just the flyer for the workshop um, for tomorrow, so 5 o'clock in English and 5.30 in Spanish, virtual, um, SAT exams, and the SAT exams were given March 23rd. Um, I did send out to 10th grade and 11th grade students and families an informational flyer, which you can see on the right in the blue, um, about what to expect next. So now that you have tested as a 10th or 11th grader, the next step is to make sure you can view your scores and what to do next in the upcoming week. Want to test again for the juniors. Um, and I do have registration form for any 11th graders who would like to register for summer as they have classes scan the QR code or visit the junior Google Classroom and save your seat for our summer as a prep with Sunnyside. Um, if unfortunately enrollment is low and we cannot fill up a whole class, we will not be able to hold the summer class, so please be sure to sign up right away so we can guarantee class for the summer. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kay. Um, again, just to reiterate, seniors, really important to touch base with somebody if you need some help figuring out what to do between um, college or career, what comes next after you graduate high school. And 11th graders, it's important to start thinking about where you want to go and be at in the following year because again the year goes by quickly and you want to start thinking about it and planning for it it makes the steps much easier if you do again thank you miss k go see her in room 143 or um sunnyside in room 219. thank you cte information do I have either Ms. Agata or Ms. Ramdeo on the line? Okay, I'm going to assume not. So work-based learning. Ms. Agata is our work-based learning coordinator for children who are leaving here with an endorsed diploma or want to leave here with an endorsed diploma, you cannot receive your endorsed diploma 
until you finish your 60 hours of work-based learning, okay? So what is work-based learning? It is like an internship. It can be in small chunks. It can be in all in one large swoop in 60 hours over the summer. But you need to have your 60 hours of work-based learning and fill out the appropriate paperwork for Ms. Zagata so she can certify that you have done your work-based learning hours and what activities count towards the work-based learning. It could be job shadowing. It could be internships. It could be worksite visits. It could be workplace challenges. There are lots of ways where you can get your hours in, but please speak with Ms. Zagata or Ms. Ramdeo to get your work-based learning hours. And there is a work-based learning Google Classroom, and all students are added to the work-based learning Google Classroom based on your graduation year. So work-based learning class of 2022 has one Google Classroom and work-based learning class of 2023 has their own. If you don't see your class or you need other questions answered, you can email Ms. Zagata. Are there any questions? I'm going to stop sharing. Anybody have questions? If you can unmute yourself, you can. And if you can't, feel free to type your question in the chat. So I see one of our meeting guests does have a question, but if you could just type it into the chat or see if you can unmic yourself. Ms. Jasmine Uribe. Good afternoon all, thank you. Go ahead, hi. You can hear me? Hi. Yes, I can. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to add um, also to inform parents um, as well as the rest of the staff that uh, thankfully for, for DOE and the partnership with DYCD, SYP continues to support. Um, not only will students be getting paid for the six weeks um, of, of, of employment, but they'll also be receiving uh, credit towards their CT hours. So we've been working really closely with the school and now the DOE has stamped it um, to make sure that we're, we're um, connecting students to the field of work that they're interested in. So not only, again, getting the experience, um, getting the money, but also getting credit for school. Um, and one other thing that's, that's coming through the pipeline, they'll also be receiving, if they fill um, complete the 75 hours for the summer, um, they'll also be receiving an elective credit um, for the next school year. So definitely making sure that parents and students who have not applied for SYAP, who are interested, um, knowing that it, we are here to serve. Um, so please make sure to stop by 219 um, and also let us know um, as we were working with Ms. Gagata uh, to make sure uh, that all students are meeting their hours. Excellent, thank you. Good point, I'm glad you brought that up. So you can finish all your work-based learning hours this summer and get paid and get a credit on your transcript. You cannot beat that. Next question, where can we check if our child has met the 60 hour requirement? So you can check with Ms. Zagata um, and she's in room 449 after period four and that's for a student. Parents can email Ms. Zagata or Ms. Ramsdale and they will get back to you as soon as possible with the information. But also you can look at your child's transcript or report card. If it has the WBL with the letter P instead of a number grade, that means your child has met the requirements for work-based learning. If it's a U, your child has not met the requirements. If there is no WBL 
on your child's transcript, then he or she has not been scheduled for hours yet. What we like to do is we like to try and schedule for sure our juniors moving up to senior year over the summer. And then if we can, our sophomores moving into junior year. Now, again, with this opportunity for the summer youth employment, I think we have enough spots there um, that will allow even our freshmen moving up to sophomore year to get those hours done. Are there any other questions? All right, so if there is nothing else, I just want to thank you again for your time, whether you're a student, a parent, a staff member, um, signing on and spending some time with me and getting some information. I hope you learned something today and we'll see you again in May. Bye everybody. Yes, this will also be available on our YouTube channel. So if you wanna go back and reference something or somebody missed the information, go right to the YouTube channel and you can see the video of this. Thank you, bye-bye.